Hey, what up, Big Rat? Three. Ted back out here trying to go three for three with videos tonight. Well, I already have a, uh, it's my second Q&A. I'm actually pretty surprised that I got so many questions. On my first Q&A, I think I did, yeah, it was either yesterday or two days ago or three days ago. So, thanks guys for all the questions here. I'll deliver them as quick as I can. Um, some questions take little, some take a long time. Seven Story Magnet says, Big Rat, I want to get your prediction on what the main deal card will look like. I predict no three-way title shot. Cena versus Orton, Triple H versus Edge, Taker versus HBK, Hardy versus Hardy, or both of them in the bank, and something with Jack O'Rourke. What do you think, and what would your card look like if you were to predict, knowing what you know about booking? Um, you kind of asked me a question like this at the last Q&A, but I understand. It's different. Um, I like the card you gave me there. Look, I know you know what's happening with Orton and Vince. The Orton and Vince storyline. You know what's happening in Mania. Don't tell me. I really don't want to know. Please, you sent me something, and I immediately deleted it. No offense to you. I just really don't want to know. Um, I'm the kind of guy who likes surprises in wrestling. Um, but here, I can answer this question for you. Uh, I don't see Hardy and Hardy in the money bank. That ugh, I've gone on and on how this feud is already lessened. You know what? Money in the bank will just lessen it even more. Don't put them in the money bank. Terrible move. I agree with something with Jack O'Rourke. I agree with Taker HBK. I wasn't highly opposed to it, but it all depends. Like I said, if if Sean wins at uh at No Way Out, then yes, it'll be Taker HBK. But if Sean loses, then it's gotta be JBL Shaw one more time. With like an even bigger stipulation, like maybe Sean maybe, maybe if Sean if Sean loses, Sean has to retire and work for JBL. Something like that. Uh, Triple H vs. Edge, I just don't see happening. I told you, Triple H vs. Edge, Cena vs. Orr, just seems too generic. It, I think that means going to do something more with that. Like I said, you probably already know something's happening with Orr. Don't tell me. And I really appreciate if you guys didn't comment about it. Just, I really don't want to know. Okay. What would your card look like if you were to predict? I would predict Jericho Roar. I would predict Hardy Hardy. I would predict Taker Edge. Um, I would pred predict Beth versus Rosa. I would predict maybe another battle battle for brand supremacy. They've done those before. They might do it again. Um, I, I Triple H just looks too generic. Cena Orton looks too generic. I think something with the McMahons might be involved with Orton. So yeah, that's what I think about that. Okay, next question comes from S J R X X six one nine. What is your favorite res favorite WrestleMania and why? I've gone over this so many times. I like three in specific, and if I had to pick a favorite, just, just listen. My three favorites are actually in the uh, 21st century, believe it or not. I like WrestleMania X7, I like WrestleMania 19, and I like WrestleMania 21 and 24. I like, yeah, I like those those four are my favorites. Why? They each have a high-profile match that I'm very addicted to. Some of my favorite matches are from WrestleMania X7. Um, Russell, here's a, that's why I don't like some of the, like WrestleMania 22, 24, why, I mean, not 24, 22, 20. Um, I think they have too many matches. They have like 15 matches and only like three are great. So I really liked um, 24, 21, and 19 when they only had nine matches or less. The only reason why X7 did the top four is because it had the Vince same match, which I like, the TLC match, which I like, Austin Rock. But let's cross that off the list. So WrestleMania 24, WrestleMania 19, WrestleMania 21. Kind of have to cross off WrestleMania 21 because you had the sumo match, which I really didn't like. The John Cena JBL match could have could have been a lot better. There are mistakes. That's mainly my favorite because of the first two matches. Rey Mysterio, Eddie, and the Money in the Bank. So let's cross that out. You all know WrestleMania 24 means to me. Undertaker is my favorite wrestler. He won the world title. Ric Flair is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. He retires. So, yeah, that's why that WrestleMania has a lot of value. Plus, that was my favorite Money in the Bank. Like I said before, there are more heels than faces. And when there's more heels, the crowd can really appreciate the talent involved. And not so much as, you know, oh, let the good guy win. You had two heels, and you had two faces, you had five heels, which really intrigued me. And I liked them all fast, bro. But I got to go with WrestleMania 19. Because to me, every single match was like a five-star match. Matt Hardy, Rey Mysterio, five-star match. Uh, the triple third tag team match, five star match. The women's match was pretty good. The Undertaker versus Big Short A trade was pretty good. Shaw Michaels, Chris Jericho, 10 star match. Triple H versus Booker T, very good match. 
Hogan versus McMahon, which I really thought I didn't like. I actually enjoyed it. Like, I enjoyed McMahon Michaels, except I enjoyed this one so much more. Good match. Austin Rock, to me, my favorite of the three, believe it or not. Because I thought both those guys were doubted out of their careers, and they still pull out an amazing match. And Lesnar Kurt Angle, great match. So, yeah, I, I have to go with uh, with WrestleMania 19 as my favorite WrestleMania. And if not, it's probably 24, just because of the sentimental value attached to it with Ric Flair and The Undertaker. Um, well, I'll take 19 or 24. Uh, next one's Coffee Ninja V8. I kind of expected this one coming. Are you a Lost fan? And if so, who's your favorite character? Also, if you are in a band, we discuss theories and stuff. Sorry, Coffee. I watch every TV show on a band. My DVR is packed. Every day I have like five shows I have to watch. Like, some of my favorites. Burn Notice. Very underrated. Monsterly underrated show. You have to watch it. Burn Notice. Heroes. Chuck. Scrubs. Office. Earl. Um, Big Bang Theory. How Much Mother. Psych. Monk. I love a lot of shows. I don't watch Lost. I don't watch Lost. I'm sorry. I know, I know that you're a big fan, but I don't watch it. I'm really sorry. Okay? Next one's from WWE Man 24. How do you think that Top Cole will get a push in WWE? I think he could make a great tag champ or IC champ. Um, he, he already was at a tag team status. Do I see him as an Intercontinental Champion? Yes. Do I see him going to the Raw? No. SmackDown, for sure. And if they push him as a face, then yeah, I could definitely see him as a U.S. champion. Because that, that, the value of that title is really low. But he's pushed as a heel, I don't really see him going anywhere. If he's pushed as a heel, I see him going how he was a couple years before. Just kind of wandering around. I really think they really should make talk about face at least once. In his next one with WWE. So the fans can get a look. And if we don't buy him as a face, which I might not. i tell you that I might not buy him as a face. But if we do, then you know, he can get more out of it. Because he's like Matt Morgan. Except Matt Morgan's better, in my opinion. So he could be an IC champion if Topco gets the push. But I don't think he will get that push in that direction. So that's why I don't really agree with you there. Last two questions are from the Wrestling Hero. One, do you think that Paul Burchill and Jamie Novo will be used right on ECW and be top contenders to ECW title? Or will they be jobbers that get squashed by the likes of Boogie Man and DJ Cameron? Um... Paul Burchill already beat Tommy Dreamer, so in my opinion, he, he can already establish himself at main event status. And I really want Jamie Noble to be main event status. This is good for his career. He's very underrated. I've said it a thousand times. He's one of my favorite wrestlers in Raw right now. And now he's on XCW where, with Hardy gone, who do you have for the title? You have Swagger, Finley, Henry, Dreamer. I guess you could say Miz and Morrison. And then you got, you know, Burchill, and then you got Noble. So, yeah, I think Noble has a pretty good shot, especially since half the list I said were he heels. You want to know who the faces of ECW are? Finley, Dreamer, Noble. No, F that. Finley, Dreamer, Ortiz, Noble. So, Noble actually has a good shot at getting the ECW title. Uh, ECW should have a second title, at least one more. I know they don't have enough rosters, but in the future, they should have enough rosters and get at least one more title. Because, basically, right now, WWE still considers ECW a world title, even though we don't. So, basically, I'm saying all the people that Brad can only fight for the ECW title can only be world champions. And some are not ready for that, and that's what causes bad champions in the future. So, that was my problem with that. Two, do you think it was a bad move by the WWE to move their C-brand star, their, their C-brand's... The ECW brands, top star of SmackDown, just the story between the Hardys. More, I think it could have done more for SmackDown. ECW would have gotten more ratings. I agree with you, kind of, because I, I I really believe that if that Hardys did ECW, it would have been great also, but let me get into it. Because they could have had cross-brand fights, which would have been cool. But And now that they're on the same brand, it is a little weak. It, not weak, it's just a little weird. They have to see each other every Friday. I mean, that's a few. Cross-brand would have been great. Like, like Kurt Angle and Michaels. They could have done it like that. But this they're brothers. That you need to go to a, a you need to go to a really, really personal level to uh to promote a few between brothers. So yeah, in retrospect, put it back goes the right move because if it's a brother versus brother, they have to see each other every week because it has to be that personal. Also, can you imagine Matt Hardy after the Royal Rumble on ECW giving a promo on why he turned on a why he turned on his brother? On uh, like Promo that everyone's been waiting for for years, for like 10 years on ECW after the Royal Rumble. No, he had to give that promo on SmackDown. There's no way. 
it, he really had to stay on SmackDown. On, on, he had to go to SmackDown, trust me. Plus now, Noble, like you said in your first question, Noble and Virtual will now move higher up at Hardy's God because Hardy was their best wrestler. Hardy probably is the best wrestler in WWE, and he was by far their number one talent. I like DJ Gabriel. I forgot to mention him in the list of faces. Um, and Boogie Man, too. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, with three for three videos for today, check out Radius 2X and Coffee Ninja B8, and check out all these people. Uh, Seventh Story Magnet knows what's happening with uh, Vince and Orton at Mania, so if you really want to know, just send him a message. I don't. I'll try to get his link, but I know for sure that uh, wrong, wrong hand, that his um uh, his 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 username is right there. So send him a question because he knows exactly what happened. You guys probably do too. I just don't want to know. So please don't come talk to me about it. Uh, that's it. I'm Big Rat. Three, ten, and I'm out. Peace.